Well, I'm, I'm going to have to, um, I think I figured out what was wrong with that coffee pot. Um, but uh, today we're going to be making some, these are cute little Thai bananas. Um, I don't know if they taste the same. We're going to be making some fried bananas with um, a little bit of honey on top. Okay. Now I'm kind of thinking I need to go back to Target because there's another um, tripod that's taller. And I almost got it. It's Joby. Okay, it's Joby. And um, I almost got it yesterday, but... Uh, when it comes to bigger purchases, I like to think about it a little bit, you know. But I do want to let you know that you can support my channel. I did add my Cash App link to all of my videos, and I'm I'm going through and I'm gonna start sharing my videos on my Facebook page. I'm trying to go through and make some changes to some certain things. It'll take me a little bit. I'm gonna slice up the banana and get it ready to put in our magic pan. Uh, so far I haven't eaten anything this morning and I told you the main reason I'm having some digestive issues. Um, hopefully I took some, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, is it stuff called? I forget. Uh, or something, one of those. And it kind of worked a little bit, but you know, I'm, I'm going to get unstopped, you know, I don't like to be stopped up like that, you know, I don't want to be stopped up like that, that's for sure. Unpleasant feeling, bloated, you feel like you got to go to the bathroom, nothing comes out, it's just horrible, really. Now, I don't have any cinnamon, so we're not doing the cinnamon today, but... I just want to see how these taste versus the regular, you know, um, regular banana. Again, grapeseed oil, um, when I got a grocery delivery, that was from HEB. It was free. So I'm going to put these bananas and get them ready. And I did get some um, organic honey this morning when I went and bought all my coffee. Um... But like I said, I think I will do another test with the coffee. I think what happened is um, I messed up. Like there's a little thing that opens when you push the pot in. So I'm thinking maybe somehow that got messed up. Uh, oh my God. I'll be glad when all this stuff is over with. This indigestion and all this junk. Here's the honey I got. I don't know, I've never gotten it. It's from Brazil. Um, okay, so. But the reason why I want that other Joby is because then I could do like a cooking show more like this. So y'all get to see, instead of seeing like my arm go like that, which I think is stupid okay I think that I think it's kind of like um what do you want to call it well I know I've done it before but you kind of I've been watching I that's what I do in my spare time I'm a youtuber now so when I'm a, when I'm not recording a video I'm watching videos because that's the way you're gonna learn you want to become one of the best youtubers on the internet well then you better start learning I encourage y'all to start getting ready to make your YouTube channel. Go get you the latest iPhone and get the most storage you can afford and start pushing record. Hey, that rhymed. I go through a lot of paper towels. Let me tell you. I'm just put. I just want to see what these taste like versus the. Um, plus, I think they help. They have a lot of fiber might you know be healthy for me <laughs> so you can tell my diet's kind of um needs a little help although the japanese food you know i mean that's healthy some of it the fried food's probably not good for you but you know what can we say 
we all like food. It's hard to lo- it's hard to cut foods out you like. So let's see if we can get this angle a little bit better. Oops. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn on that fan. And thank y'all for um, subscribing to my channel. And please uh, click on that notification bell because I'm going to be doing videos every day. Uh, women. You know. And uh, I want to make sure that y'all get notified so you can see the latest and greatest food review I'm doing or whatever I'm doing. Because that's why I, I didn't want to make a channel just about food because there's more to life than just eating, all right? Um, well, it's true. I mean, we all eat, and that's a big part of life, but it's not the only part. So, that's why I wanted to make my YouTube channel more, um, I don't know, generic. So, if I want to do an Amtrak review, or if I want to do a, I don't know, if I want to do show y'all how I put my makeup on, I could do that, or, I mean, there's a variety of things we can do together, besides this cooking, so I've got this, um, going on here, I do agree with what they say about the, um, take the, take the picture of what you're gonna do, or, you know, maybe after you're done cooking or whatever, or wherever you're at. So that sometimes these YouTube pictures, they turn out great. And sometimes it's like my hands like this. And that's not a great picture. Which is unusual for me. Um, you know. I should go ahead and start eating something. I did buy this. At the store. Um, Japanese seaweed salad. And I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. That's what I do with everything. I mean, that way it stays fresh, because if you just open and put it back in the fridge, and then you forget about it for two days, well, chances are you're probably not going to eat it. It's going to be dried out and gross. This way, you can open it. Yeah, just dump it in like that. I'm going to eat it right out of the bag. Okay, I'm kind of hungry. Plus, I need to take my vitamins. Now, I did stop taking fiber right for a minute to see if I want everything to get cleared out. And then I'll start my fiber again because mm, that's just unpleasant when you can't go to the bathroom. Ugh. Dark. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. 
I had I don't know. We I might be doing the food review today, but I'm going to be in a little bit. This is just a test of the Thai Banana Broadcasting System. I mean, I think they'll be great. Just put a little bit of honey on the top, but I'm not doing that till. And if I had some cinnamon, that would be really great. Just have a little cinnamon. I'm gonna put me more togarashi because you put togarashi all day, all day, all night on your food and this this stuff right here. And you don't need salt. Now it might not taste good. Like it might not taste good on like you know traditional spaghetti and meatballs. And you may have to put more garlic powder. You want to cook all that. Um, hope y'all enjoyed my coffee video. I, I still, it's still a kind of a disaster. I'm trying to clean my sink up. Um, I'm going to try to go on YouTube and look up another way to make coffee. Or I'm going to try to make the coffee and use another filter. I'm not real sure what happened, but whatever happened, it didn't drain. And I had just run a whole bunch of water through the through the coffee maker. So it must have been the filter that I picked and the wrong one for the coffee pot. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. That's my guess. Y'all um, can comment below if you got some suggestions about my coffee. How to make a better cup of coffee. Because I don't have a K-cup machine. You know. I got to get a little bit of support for my channel before I upgrade some of my uh, kitchen. You know what I mean? Either that or I got to get monetized and or both. I'm going to try to do one food review each day, okay, and then I'm going to do several <coughs> cooking videos, miscellaneous videos, that's what my channel is not only a cooking channel, it's not only food reviews, it's whatever I want to show about my life that I think y'all might find interesting. Uh, or whatever. Let me see if I, there's my honey. I'm trying to find my little, now I, I'm trying to decide, I wanted to buy two of these circular pans like this, but it won't fit. I tried, I kind of measured, but it's okay. I mean, you know, um, I can use this one. And I do have other, I do have other regular pans. I just like to do, I like to do unique things, you know, that are fun and funny. Um, however you cook at home, I mean, if you have a big family, this probably wouldn't, I mean, unless you got four burners and you have a lot of time. So if you got a big family or whatever, this this method might not be for you. But if you want to try to portion out your food, possibly lose weight, see how much salt you're putting in there, you know, kind of see what you're doing on a smaller scale. Like I could, if I wanted to, I could do bananas four ways. You know, I could try out different seasonings. Um, oh, those are getting burned. Um, these probably, I don't know, not as bad. Let's see, not yet. Oh, that one is. I might want to turn them. You can try out all kinds of things, alright? Just, 
however you like to cook at your house, it's your business, and if you got five kids, I wouldn't suggest this method. But if you if your kids are at school and you just want to do something different, you can get one of these pans at an Asian grocery store or wherever. And you can just try it out. But I mean, you know, in Japan, in Japan, and you know, this might be a way, they do eat small plates. So, you know, you could cook one thing here, one thing here, one thing here, one thing there. You know, just like as appetizers, and then you, on your other burners, you could be cooking other stuff. I'm gonna use this little dish. Alright. And uh, whenever I think they're done, I like them crispy anyway, so it's fine with me if they get crispy. I don't know. If it, you know, may or may not be too much oil, it doesn't matter. I mean, we all live and learn. I'd like to get a medicine dropper so I use less oil because I don't think I need this much oil, to be honest with you. Okay. But these ought to be delicious. All right, either way, too much oil, not enough, whatever. Don't hit yourself over the head if you make a mistake, okay? It's a learning experience. And we all must learn in life, right? I do hope you're enjoying my channel. If you've listened this far, you must be enjoying. I'm waiting on Verizon to send me that package to send that phone to the other phone back. I need to send it back. Oh, these are the Thai bananas, and I'm going to open up my honey. They always have some like little thing. I guess they don't want they don't want people opening it at the grocery store. But you notice I don't like I don't eat Doritos. I don't drink sodas. Okay, um, my problem is, um, probably I'm eating not exactly the right foods because I do a lot of food review, but the good thing is all these restaurants where I do my food reviews, they have, you know, they have different, I'm ordering the foods I want, like spaghetti, meatballs, and shrimp tempura, but yesterday, I did not, when I did that sushi review, I could have done a keto I could have done less carbs I mean not a hundred percent keto but less carbs you know you could save all your carbs now these I'm sure have carbs because they turn to sugar but like I said I'm not do I don't want to do a keto diet because I don't think it's healthy I mean yeah you'll lose the weight but then what happens when you eat a piece of garlic bread no you eat the loaf you will eat the loaf I promise I did it. I mean, who wants to eat a loaf of garlic bread? I mean, that's horrible. Now I'm going to take this out. This is part of my breakfast. I told y'all I don't eat traditional breakfast. Okay? Um... And I'm gonna just no, I could save that away. Well, maybe not save it, but I'm gonna put it over here. 
job that's going to put a little bit of honey on that. I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes. Let's see if it... These are the Thai crunchy fried bananas with a little bit of honey. I'm sure they're hot. Yeah, it's very good. I'm just putting a little extra honey. See, that's not... That's not healthy. I mean, well, it's not... It's healthy, but... It's not healthy if I eat that popsicle thing I bought later today. <laughs> like a regular banana to me. Um, I mean, you gotta admit, this bacon and eggs and sausage and oatmeal every day, that's kind of like boring. To me, it is. Gotta get outside your comfort zone and try something different. Oops, I dropped some honey on the floor. Well, that coffee thing on is just interesting. Mm, it's good. I don't, I don't know. I would say it's the healthy snack because there's no sugar. And got an organic honey. And I just used a little grapeseed oil. No, not nothing. Not, you probably could put some cinnamon on it. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have any more. That's delicious. Um, Houston weather is so weird. We get up in the 80s, and then now we're down to 40. <laughs> Although, I mean, I'm not, I don't care because I'm used to it. Um, I'm sitting out from Houston. I mean, it's a very temperate climate. Sometimes you can grow plants all year round. This is so good. You know, I don't normally... This is actually really... Um, this is actually really good. That honey I got was that special organic honey from Brazil. And it says on the bottle... White forest honey. Golden blossom. That's good. But you know, like eating little little things like this throughout the day that are healthy, low in salt or no salt. Where you I just dropped it in my shirt. That was nice. Okay. You're gonna control what you're eating. You don't wanna be eating um packaged foods. These oriental stores they have, I can't read it. That's why I don't buy it. I have, I have a lot of stuff in my freezer that I bought, but I can't, I can't read them. You know, there's, a, you don't know what, what's in it. So what I do when I go to these Asian grocery stores is I just focus on the produce departments, meat, chickens, fish, seafood. And then, and then I say to myself, well, am I out of olive oil or do I need salt? Just the very basics. Like, I mean, like maybe they might have cinnamon. I might have to get help to find it. Like cinnamon. Okay, I like to get cinnamon for my bananas. Okay, so don't even, if you go to an Asian grocery store, don't get overwhelmed like I was doing in the beginning. Just pretend like the, um... All those aisles with all the words you can't read don't exist. Don't don't even walk down the aisles in the beginning. Just go. I mean, it's pretty obvious where the oranges and bananas and you know lettuce and all that stuff, mushrooms is, and you can look at look at it because you can recognize what it is. And they usually have English words under it. 
Then you just buy that stuff. You buy your fish, your chicken, your beef, clam, whatever you buy. Live lobster, which I'm not going to do. I don't want to. I was already in Japan, and they cooked a live lobster on the hibachi grill in front of me. And it made a squealing noise as it was dying. I could I just, that's not for me. But, they do have lobster that's already killed. I mean, that, that I like, but I don't want to. I don't want to really boil something alive and watch it die. I mean, not, it would make me, like, sad. But anyway. Stick, gonna go to the Asian, Asian grocery stores. You want to learn Chinese or Japanese or whether you do or don't want to learn it. That's your business. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. I'd love to learn Japanese because I like Japanese food better. As you can probably tell by my number of my food reviews that are Japanese. But I will be doing a lot of Chinese food reviews as well. Now, I don't have that many Japanese friends, but I do have a lot of Chinese friends or acquaintances. So, if I wanted to learn Chinese, it would probably be a lot easier for me to do because then I could practice with someone because I don't have anyone to practice with with the Japanese. Well, anyway, that will conclude this video. Again, if you watched the last video of me making coffee... Yeah, it was kind of a disaster, but comment below if you have any suggestions on um, how to get this sucker running, because I put that coffee filter in, I put the coffee in, and it wasn't draining, and I even stuck a knife in there to try to open the hole, and that didn't work. So, comment below if you have a suggestion on how to get this sucker running, or if you'd like to support my channel, you can find my Cash App link in the description below. If you don't have any money to support right now, that's fine. Times are tough. Hey, you can click the thumbs up button and share. Most people have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snap. Y'all share. Please sharing is caring. You don't have money to donate to support my channel, that's fine. I don't care. Everyone can do what they can do. Please tell others about my channel so I can grow it. Because I would like to buy a nicer coffee maker. But right now it's not in my budget. I only have a certain amount of money to do my channel at this time. And uh, but we'll all grow it together. And I'm hopefully going to encourage a few of my uh, subscribers to also start a YouTube channel. So if you are listening this far in, that means you like my videos. Please uh, comment below if you're going to start your own YouTube channel. Or if you'd like me to do a video about how to do it. It's really not that hard. And even if you know absolutely nothing about starting a YouTube channel. There's tons and tons and tons and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos on how to do it. Using your iPhone. Don't go out and buy that $5,000 camera and the $2,500 MacBook Pro. Just get out the old iPhone. Do keep in mind, you, I have a 1 terabyte storage 13 Pro Max. I did get the highest level iPhone I could get. Um, in May, the 14's coming out. I'll be getting it. God willing. Okay? Because every time they come out with a new phone... They're going to have a better processor, more storage, more, you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to make buying that $5,000 mega camera unnecessary. Um, so, you know, I'm just saying. It's, you know, my coffee pot's kind of dirty. You can tell. <laughs> Thanks for listening. And have a great day. And I'll see you on the next video. Toodaloo.